My name is Seb. I am a bathroom contract merchant. I am 22 years old. I'm Joe Phillips, uh, 24, and I'm a trainee brewer at the moment. I'm Andy Thomas, I'm 55, and I'm a self-employed land sink gardener. My name's Alex Thomas, 22 years old, civil servant. Grassroots football, the lifeblood of local communities. But what is the future looking like for those at the very bottom of English football? What is so special about this level of the beautiful game? And who are the people behind the scenes helping keep it going? At South Devon Football League side Kingsbridge and Kellerton, they were thoughtful about the state of the game when I joined them at training. How long have you been kind of involved in the local sports scene here? Too long is the simple answer. Since I've well, since I was 15, I played till I was 50, and I've managed for about 30 years kids football, 20 years, and Kellerton for I don't know, about 10 years now. What do you what do you see the future is like for local football? I mean, it's picking up a bit now. It did have a low spell about five years ago where I thought it was going to die off a bit, but um, the kids seem to be getting back into it now. But, um, yeah. There was a time where I thought it was going to die off. But, um, yeah. Okay, well, what, what do you think is behind like the kind of recent increase then, if you think it's starting to get a little bit better? No idea. It, you just get different years, especially with the kids. When I was doing the kids, you get certain years that are excellent, and you get some years that are really poor, or you get the years where they're all rugby and they... They all go to that instead of playing football. So it's just... well, how important do you think local football is to kind of kids growing up these days? Um, I think it's really important. I think that um, not enough kids get enough exercise, um, and it's a great way to exercise and to see your friends. And um, I always just like to be busy. I like keeping busy, and if I'm out playing football, I'm not sat around doing nothing. So I think, yeah, I think it's really important. How much you learn. You know, leadership, teamwork, it's, it's fantastic. Everyone, everyone needs a bit more of it, I think. One should start with a sport, rugby, football, anything. Paul Lane. Kingsbridge's neighbours, East Allington, have played on this pitch throughout their history, but this season will be their last. The club is being forced to move on, and this upheaval is becoming more common for Devon's clubs, with many sides not owning the very turf which they play on. Kingsbridge and Kellerton themselves have been moving around pitches in recent years and their current home is five miles out of Kingsbridge. It's a tough problem for any club to face. For the size of the town and the population of the town and the surrounding area, for Kingsbridge not to have its own facilities, it's not right really, it deserves better. Um, we've been, I think, more than three pitches and facilities in the last 15 years. Um, never had a stable ground and deserves better, really. I think it's handled the best way it can be. To be honest, we're a nomadic team. We have no base, so we just have to play wherever we can. Simple as that. So. Uh, and in terms of the finances of the club, is, that, is, is there kind of a lot of people behind the club trying to keep it afloat? Or how, how is it looking off the pitch? This is only a select few, obviously, as you well know, but um, it'd be nice to have a few more. Some money behind us would be nice, but it's, it's never going to happen. Like you just go from week to week, basically. Not enough finance goes into it, in my opinion, but the facilities need to be improved. Um, but definitely for a lot of, especially downwards of 30, it's a big part of their lives. Every weekend, they put a lot of their time into it and don't get enough out, in my opinion. With so much uncertainty off the pitch, players could be forgiven for wanting to turn their back on football. But that couldn't be further from the truth for these players. Why do you play grassroots sport in the weekend? When I, when I turn up, um, mainly to keep fit and the enjoyment of football. It keeps me fit, I enjoy it, it's good to see my mates. Um, I like football, um, I've always liked it and I just enjoy looking forward to it on a Saturday and then going down to the pub afterwards and running about and yeah, I've always done it and I like it. Well, I've always played it since I was younger, probably started about six or seven, but I've got two older brothers, they both played football, so they sort of got me into it. And I enjoy it, it's good fitness, and yeah, it's just good fun. Got introduced to football at a very early age, loved it ever since. Uh, helps my dad's a manager, but always been around football. Uh, good camaraderie on the Saturday, play with friends. Good way of staying active, healthy, so on. The social side of it is good. Especially if you do win the game, so that's always good fun, uh, going to the pub after to celebrate that. 
Yeah, it's not a day goes by where we don't really talk about football. It's done affect our life in some way. But yeah, it's definitely a big part of the household. Got to have good banter, play, especially playing with the older brothers. So, got to show them how it's done. <laughs> Uh, we always play for separate teams, but uh, as going to adults football, they try to play with them, so yeah, it's good, good fun. Figures at the start of the season revealed a 30% drop in player registrations for the South Devon Football League, and more than six teams have folded since 2014. However, Andy Thomas is positive about the future of his side, and local football in general. I hope he keeps going, I think we've got a good, a good base to start from, so I'm sure he'll keep going. Exactly what the future holds in store for grassroots football is anyone's guess. But it's clear you'd be hard pushed to find any activity that brings people together in the same way as local sport. 22 players on one pitch kicking a ball around, but for some people it's a whole lot more than that. This is the beautiful game. This is grassroots football.